Hey, today we're going to be talking about Mesopotamian religion. To really understand what Mesopotamian religion is, first you've got to understand what religion is. And what religion is, it's, it's one's belief in a god or gods and goddesses. Um, you know, where did things come from, like the world, the, uh, the, you know, the sun, moon, stars, uh, what happens to one when one dies. And really, religion uh, can be split into um, two parts, I guess you would say. Uh, one called polytheism, the other called monotheism. Now, what polytheism is, and, and looking at the word, poly means many. So what it means is many gods or goddesses. And a lot of the ancient world believed that there were many different gods and goddesses that uh, ruled uh, different as aspects of life. And the other um, part or the other uh, idea of religion is monotheism, the idea that there's one supreme God who, who kind of rules over uh, every aspect of life. And the Mesopotamians, the people there in Mesopotamia, uh, were polytheistic. They believed that there were various different uh, gods. And you can look at other religions, such as Judaism, and they even describe um, the, the uh, religion there in Mesopotamia. You've got a man named Abraham, uh, you know, the father of the, the Jewish people and the uh, Muslims say the uh, uh, father of the Arab people as well. But Abraham grew up in Mesopotamia. And according to Jewish tradition, his father Terah uh, was an idol maker. He made these statues of wood or uh, maybe even metal. And you know, the people would come to him and get by these idols and they, they would worship them. Um, you know, so we, we see a little glimpse of uh, Mesopotamian religion, even in other religious uh, stories like that. And there were, you know, major gods like Enki. Uh, he's the god of wisdom. Uh, the Mesopotamians believed that, you know, the gods control different aspects of uh, human behavior. Uh, and then you've got like Anu, who's the sky god. You've got Enlil, who's the god of... Uh, the earth, you know, storms of agriculture, you know, so we also see that some of the gods controlled uh, different aspects of nature. All In all, there were, you know, thousands of these gods, whether they were the major gods or even the minor gods. And each city would have their own patron god or goddess, you know, one that was kind of uh, like the main one that they worshipped, you know, they'd believe in all these other ones, you know, especially the god of agriculture, uh, in little because, you know, agriculture is a very important uh, part of life because without it, they died. Uh, so they would worship all these different ones, but there'd be one patron god, kind of the one that was the, the head of that um, city. And, you know, in addition to looking at uh, Judaism and other religious things, you can find information on some of these gods and goddesses, their beliefs, um, by looking at uh, some of the clay tablets they would have written on. Um, you had one particular writing, the Epic of Gilgamesh, which we will talk about uh, in another video, uh, but it contains some of the stories and mentions some of the gods and goddesses and kind of how um, religion worked there. Now, the Mesopotamians believed that the, their gods, you know, lived in uh, this other realm. They even uh, kind of connected them with some of the stars or um, planets, um, just some of the um, bodies in the sky, and they believed that those were the um, uh, the gods there. And what they would do is they would make statues to have like these gods here in our realm. They would have them in earth, and they uh, would represent those gods, but they would also believe that they would kind of be the embodiment of these gods, and they would worship these gods. And they would have priests that kind of uh, worked for the gods that would, you know, take food to them uh, there in a temple. Um, and, you know, they would perform these different aspects of worship uh, just to kind of honor these gods. So the people um, treated these uh, priests very well and, and tried to curry favor with the priests to gain favor with the gods in hopes that the gods would allow them to be protected, to allow their harvest to be bountiful, uh, you know, whatever aspect of nature or human behavior that, that those particular gods that they were trying to honor were over, they were, you know, trying to get favor in those areas. And the people even believed that the kings were, um, you know, chosen by the gods. At, at first, uh, the government in Mesopotamia was led by these priests, and over time, things changed where you actually had kings, uh, you know, these secular kings who were, 
in charge. So you go from having these religious priests in charge acting as kings to where priests and uh, kings kind of became separate. Um, but religion was never really separated from uh, government as the kings were chosen by the gods. So, you know, hey, you better listen to the king because uh, the gods have chosen him. And if I don't listen to what he says, the gods are going to be angry and, and, you know, maybe destroy my crops or, you know, even kill me. You know, so that's where the kings kind of gained their authority. So that's basically uh, Mesopotamian religion in a nutshell. Uh, check out some of the other videos to see more about Mesopotamian life or world history in general, whatever uh, um, it is you're studying. Thanks for watching.